the heck is this? The heck? Look at it. It's like a, it's like a baseball bat. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I mentioned a few other times in other videos that I had to get surgery on my wrist. It's been broken since January. Yeah, January second, two thousand sixteen. I was at Bundy Hill, the uh, the off road park that you guys see me riding at the in a few recent videos, and I slipped on some ice. Basically, tried to brace with my hand, going probably 30, 40 miles an hour, and it fractured my scaphoid. Luckily, nothing got dislocated, so it, it's, I mean, it was really a pretty simple operation. They, uh, they had to take some bone from my hip, which that's kind of looking really gross right now. It's very bruised, so that's like just glued shut. But, uh, yeah, they had to graft some bone from my hip put it in the fracture in my scaphoid and then basically just put a screw through it to hold it all together. So, um, I have this for about another week. I had the surgery to shows Wednesday, uh, last Wednesday. I, I, I'm not good with numbers. I don't really pay attention to the, the dates of things, but anyway, I'll have this found for about another week. Then I'll go get it like a normal plaster, uh, hard cast thing. And hopefully it'll only be about five weeks, five, six weeks in a cast like that. So it sucks. I won't be able to ride. We're just now getting some, some good snow. Uh, tonight we're supposed to have a snowstorm, possibly like up to a foot of snow. So I'm a little sad. I really wanted to go rip the YZ, uh, in some deep powder, throw on the studded tires or make a new set. I don't know what, yeah, the ones up there are kind of worn out. There is still going to be content coming. Uh, I've got some other things. Um, some videos coming up or talking about how I got into moto vlogging, how I got into riding in general. Uh, what else? The gear I wear. A lot of you ask about that. So there is a video. It's already uploaded, scheduled. Ugh, crooked glasses. Um, talking about that. Uh, I'm going to do a video while I'm down with the wrist for um, my helmet setup, my microphone, camera, all that stuff. I get a lot of questions on that. Um, also, one thing I'll mention again real quick is this beauty here, Stacy, is for sale um, at the right price. So you can email me, brad at brad-products.com. Um, uh, if you want to throw me an offer, go ahead. I've got someone who's already, they're interested in buying. I'm just, I'm waiting on them to to gather their money, but uh it's, it's, it's still on the table. It's a 2015 WR450F Supermoto. It's got Excel wheels, town hubs, full exhaust system. Oil's been changed every 500 miles or less. Powder coated swing arm, kickstart, brake lever, blah, 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 aftermarket plastics. You know, these sick pro taper grips, which like are at least worth 1500 bucks. So, you know, get it while you can. That's some, that's some nice stuff. Oh, and a Baja designs kit. Anyway, it will be replaced with another supermoto. If I do sell it, most likely it'll be a YZ 450 FX, a 2017, 2016. Doesn't really matter. They're pretty much all the same, but, um, it'll be a, a more track oriented bike. Uh, I'm going to do like a really sweet build. I'm going to powder coat the frame, uh, the swing arm, everything. Uh, I'll, I'll put an image up, right? Wait, hold on. Yeah, right, right there. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, it's super exciting. Uh, I do love this bike. I wish I could keep it and get another one, but I don't know. I like to, it's fun building bikes. I get a lot of enjoyment out of, out of building them, keeping things fresh, just trying something new. A lot of you I know are like, oh, the YZ is not any different than the WR, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, actually, it's it, it's definitely different. Uh, it's a completely different motor from the 2015 model. Uh, the, new, the new YZ and new WR are almost identical. Motor, frame, suspension, all that. Um, but with the YZ, I don't get the annoying wiring harness. I'll just do my own wiring. And it'll be a lot cleaner. I can just put a light bar and have the, the motocross number plate like I have on the YZ250 here, which I just think looks a lot better. I mean, I do like the WR headlights, but anyway, yeah. So you don't need to give me comments about the differences between the bikes. I thoroughly know inside and out the difference between the different years, the different models. Trust me, I put a lot of hours on, on one of these. I have a lot of people I ride with who have the new ones, the old ones, whatever. Uh, I, I don't need to be educated on um, 
on that stuff anymore. Oh, my left arm's getting really sore from holding this up. And I am considering the option of getting an FZ7 as well. It's all kind of dependent on what I think my plans are for next year in terms of travel and also what I can get out of this. But, uh, so yeah, I may end up with two new bikes, fresh build. I'll definitely do a build series. Seems like a lot of other people, um, uh, Motonocity and, oh shoot, who's the other one doing the, uh, yeah, like do it with Dan. Duh. Yeah. He's doing like that Harley build series. Um, so those are really cool. People seem to enjoy those a lot. I also think it'd be really fun to make one. So yeah, expect that. Uh, in regard to the van build, I know nothing has happened recently, but luckily my friend is coming home from school uh, very soon here, and she's going to help me film it and and get that whole thing going, because I definitely want that ready by uh, by spring. So I've got, got some supplies here. I've got insulation, which is kind of the first step, getting a... Uh, Getting it so I can keep some heat in there. Uh, got some carpet. And yeah, a bunch of bunch of all that good stuff. So that'll kind of be like the really the really boring, monotonous part, just cutting out all these little shapes and fitting them into all the the cracks and stuff. But shouldn't be too bad, especially with the help from a friend or two. Um, yeah. Oh, in regards to uh, the B Rad shirts, the No Sane Person shirts. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I. I don't know if I already talked about this on uh, on YouTube. I know I've mentioned it on Instagram once or twice. But uh, there were 145 shirts ordered, which to me is like absolutely incredible. I, I set a goal of 100. And well, the, the first campaign, I think there were 134. And I said, if we can sell more than that on this second campaign that I'll do a naked snow wheelie on the YZ. So, of course, we got 145. That's more than 134 if you couldn't figure that out on your own. So, sometime this winter, I will be doing a naked snow wheelie. And to be honest, I'm pretty darn excited. <laughs> I probably would have done it either way because that'll be a really, really funny thing to do. But, uh, yeah. So thank you so much. Like, that's so cool to me knowing that there are, what, I can't math right now. There's almost... 300 of those shirts out there that people are going to be wearing just the fact of knowing that there's that much support for this brand and this channel uh is truly incredible like it, it means so much to me but uh yeah there's a uh, tons of trail riding videos coming up some more uh, nice scratch on the gas oh never mind um sorry the uh trail riding videos a few street riding videos just talking about stuff plenty of content I don't think you'll be disappointed. You guys seem to really enjoy the trail riding videos, which is great because that's my favorite style of riding. Uh, I just haven't really been able to do it until basically this fall. So expect a lot more of that. Yes, I'll still be doing supermoto stuff. Don't worry. It's just like right now it's cold in Michigan. It has been. You know, it's the warmest day we have normally at this point would be like 40 degrees, and that's just not enjoyable to ride. So trails... Yeah, I'll ride that, like, no matter what the temperature is, but street, I just, not, not really into that when it's so cold out, so, by next spring, once I start traveling, yes, there will be tons of supermoto shenanigans stuff again, along with trail riding, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give plenty of both, so don't worry later, and let me know if you got anything to say in the comments, see ya, Ooh, peace, okay, awkward, <laughs> stop, got, got, oh. This girl, Brandyland underscore official, that's her Instagram. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen there. She did this awesome uh, portrait of me, a, a portrait drawing in pencil. So go check out her Instagram. It's super cool. She's got other drawings. She's doing a series right now through December where she draws uh, YouTubers, uh, I think, yeah, every day of December. So she picked me to be one of them, which is super awesome. She had a lot of nice things to say. So go check that out. She's got a link to her YouTube in the description. And she, she has these videos of her drawing uh, me, as long as, uh, uh, me as well as other people. And they're just super cool. So go give her a follow. Go subscribe to her channel. It's super awesome. And thanks so much uh, for doing that. It's super awesome. I smiled the whole time watching it. And now I'm out of breath. Goodbye.